rotating disk electrode can be used for all hydrodynamic electrochemical experiments. The flow can quickly achieve conditions in which the steady state current is controlled by the solution flow rather than the fusion. This is in contrast to unsteered experiments where the steady state current is limited by the diffusion of the species in solution. The Metrum Otlep rotating disk electrode with a low noise mercury contact facilitates a smooth current signal. The main specifications of the Metrum rotating disk electrode are the motor speed range from 100 rpm to 10,000 rpm, the acceleration and deceleration is in 4000 rpm per second, the maximum current goes up to 500 milliamp, and the electronic contact is by sealed mercury pool. This video will show you how to set up, use and care for your Outlap RDE. The standard RDE2 comes in two boxes, one containing the motor controller and the other containing the rotator. The rotator has a protective Teflon shaft to protect the axle from bending. The two electrode cable is for the working electrode and the ground connection. With this cable you connect the working electrode plus sense banana plug and the green ground cable coming from the potentiostat. And the next box is for the 3 mm platinum electrode tip. In the second box you will find the motor controller unit. This one here. And the power cable and the BNC cable to remotely control the rotator. On the front of the motor controller there's a manual control button for adjusting the rotation speed. On the back of the motor controller there are inputs for the rotator and also for the BNC cable to control remotely the rotation speed. The following experiment we are going to study the mass transport characteristics of ferro-ferry redox reaction using the Outlap rotating disc electrode. The electrolyte used in this experiment is a redox standard which can be purchased from Metro. We use a standard silver-silver chloride reference electrode and a platinum sheet counter electrode. Connect the rotator cable of the RDE to the motor position on the back panel of the motor controller. To control the rotation speed through the software remotely, press the control mode button on the back panel of the motor controller. Connect the BNC cable coming from the analog output, in this case the V out of the monitor cable of the PGZ204, to the remote input on the back panel of the motor controller. We are now going to attach the platinum electrode tip to the axle of the rotator. To do this, keep the axle fixed in place by pressing the axle blocking button on the rotator. This is the axle blocking button. During rotation of the axle, the block button will click in position. So we hold it and we turn the axle until we hear a click. Now the axle is fixed, then gently screw on the electro tip. The electro tip should be finger tight and don't use any wrenches or other tools to tighten the electro tip. There should be a small gap, shown here, between the electro tip and the rotator. I remind you not to use any tools to tighten the electro tip. Insert the rotator in the lid of the electrochemical cell. The position of the rotator is vertical, so use the middle hole of the lid. Connect the two-way electrode cable to the rotator. Connect the working electrode and ground cable from the potential set to the two-way electrode cable of the rotating disc electrode. The red female banana plug is used for the working electrode and the sense electrode, and the green female banana connection is for the ground connection of the potential set. The reference electrode and the counter electrode are already connected. The rotation speed can be set manually with the switch on the front panel of the motor controller. The rotation speed can be adjusted with this button here. I will switch off the manual control because in this experiment we are using the analog output of the Outlook PG stat to control the rotation speed of the rotator through the Nova software. When you are operating the rotator using the remote feature, an orange light will appear in the front of the motor controller. 
configure the rotating disk electrode in the Nova software, we have to enable it in the hardware settings. First, we open the Nova 2.1 software. When the software is open, you go to your instruments. And it depends what kind of instrument you have. In our example, we use the PZ204. So we go to the hardware setup. We select the PZ204. And the rotating disk electrode is controlled through the monitor cable of the PZ204. Then we have to select external devices. And in the V out of the monitor cable, we select the Outlab RDE. And now the settings are configured for the 204. When you have a PZ302N, for example, you also have to configure the external devices. But now the controlling goes through the DAC, the Digital to Analog Conversion 164, which is in all PZ302N instruments. Again, select the Outlab RDE. The Metro Outlab YouTube channel has a large number of how-to videos for the Nova software. There is a video about the hydrodynamic linear sweep procedure, which you will find useful. Always disconnect the motor control unit from the electrical power source before cleaning. Never use excessive amounts of water as it may damage the instrument. So first we disconnect this one and also we remove from the power source. Also remove the cable from the motor control unit. And then we rinse the electrode with demineralized water. Then we dry it with paper cloth. Do not store the RDE2 with the electro tip attached. Always rinse the axle of the RDE2 with demineralized water and dry the axle with a paper towel. Cover the axle with a protective shaft. Please refer to the user manual for more detailed information about how to clean and store your RDE.